Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to this new amazing video tutorial about WordPress. In this tutorial, we are going to show you that how you can add a social media sharing options in your WordPress website, okay? Now, this is the website where I'm going to add a social sharing options, okay? So first of all, uh, go back to your dashboard. You can see that I have already logged in into my WordPress dashboard for this website, okay? And from here, we're going to add a free plugin, which is uh, really popular for adding social share options in WordPress website, okay? So for doing that, simply hover over here on plugins, and from here, click on add new, okay? And from here, simply uh, search for the plugins called Sassy Social Share, okay? Sassy Soul so Share, okay? And you can see that uh, this is the plugin that we are going to use today. Okay, uh, this uh, plugin is by Tim Hitter. Currently, this plugin has more than one lakh uh, active installations and 329 plus uh, five star rating. Okay, so simply click on install now. It's you can see that it's installing. After we install uh, the plugin, we have to click here on activate. So simply click on activate. Okay. All right, you can see that uh, after that, we'll get a new option here at the left bottom of your WordPress website, okay? Uh, which will be look like this, Sashi Social Share. And click here. And it, you can see all the settings uh, related to this Sashi Social Share plugin, okay? But before doing any change uh, here, let's go to our front end and from here reload our page, okay? I mean, uh, just reload our website. You can see that we have uh, new social sharing options in the front end of our website. Okay, that's how easy it is to add a social share in your WordPress website. And you can see that uh, this plugin uh, have uh, multiple social sharing button. Uh, you can see that we have Facebook, Twitter. Uh, uh, this is Reddit, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and uh, lots of more others, okay? And you can see that we have this uh, social share uh, at the top of our page, okay? Well, we don't want this, okay? I will show you that, how we can uh, customize these things. And if I click on About Us page, uh, you, you will also be able to see um, social share plugins on, in the About Us page. You can see that. Uh, and this thing breaks our website, okay? so. Uh, I will show you that how you can fix this and if I click on blog you'll also be able to see that in uh, in the uh, blog page maybe uh, no 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 we don't have any uh, social share in our blog page but if I click any uh, blog post this is going to take us to the single blog post and you can see that in the single blog post we have social share uh, here okay uh, inside the post you can see that so let's see that how we can uh, disable and customize our social uh, share options uh, as we want. We don't want this here, okay? So simply uh, go back to your dashboard and uh, click on uh, Sassy Social Share. And after that, you'll be able to see uh, multiple uh, tab here. One is theme selection, other one is, is uh, standard interface, other one is the floating interface, and we also have uh, four other. Uh, these three are not so important, so I'm not going to talk about uh, this, not three, uh, these four options here, okay? I'm just going to talk about uh, about this theme selection uh, and this standard interf interface and also about this floating interface, okay? So from this uh, theme selection, you can change the style of your icon of your social share. You can see that. Uh, under the icon preview, you'll be able to see the icon preview of your social share but, uh, icons, okay? You can see that uh, by default, the shape is rounded. But if you uh, if we want to make it square, then simply click on square. And you can see that uh, right now, uh, if I save this from here, simply scroll down and click on save changes. Okay? And let's go here and reload this. You'll be able to uh, see the change. You can see that the style changed. It became uh, square from the rounded, okay? So I'm just again going back here. And you can see that uh, we can also make this rectangle. If I click on rectangle, this will be look like this, okay? 
and don't uh, forget to click on save changes simply click on save changes okay all right so again simply reload this I hope the style will be changed you can see that the style changed okay so that's all you can also change the uh, icon size you can increase it you can decrease it you can uh, also change the icon height uh, the first one is width and the uh, second one is height you can also make it a border radius you can also change the logo color background color border color etc 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 okay and here's a lots of uh, options and this option is actually for this one this standard interface this one is called standard interface and uh, this one is called uh, a floating interface okay we will get all the settings for the standard uh, setting uh, standard interface here and we will get all the settings about the uh, floating interface here okay you can change the floating interface icon um, s options from here okay so suppose I want to uh, make this round okay s for doing that simply click on round from this uh, floating interface okay so simply click on save changes and after that go back to your front end and reload the page you can see that right now it looks like this okay so it looks really great so that's how easy it is uh, you can explore here and you can do a lots of other thing and then let's go and click on standard interface and here you can see that uh, you can enable and disable the standard interface icons okay the standard interface icons is this one okay this one right here you can see that and if I click on block and after that uh, go to the single block uh, page and if I scroll down you can see that uh, we also have the standard interface icons in our single block post okay this one is actually the standard uh, single block post uh, sorry standard icons for our uh, social sharing options okay so simply if you want to disable this simply uncheck this and scroll down and don't forget to save this click on save changes and if I reload this you will see that uh, this icon is gone okay and if I uh, go back to my home page you will also not be able to see the icons here okay that's how easy it is to enable and disable the standard interface icons okay so I'm just simply clicking on uh, on this I'm just uh, simply checking this and then scrolling down below and you can uh, select all the social media from here which is already uh, listed here you can see that here's a lot lots of different social media here okay uh, if you want to add any social media from here just simply you have to check that okay and you have to click on uh, save change uh, save changes from here okay so and after that simply let's go and disable this from our uh, page okay uh, so simply for disabling this for, from our home page uh, simply click on um, here okay from here just uncheck this we don't want to uh, show our standard interface icons in our pages okay and from here we just uh, want this into our block single post page okay that's why I'm just uh, clicking here okay just check this post from here and click on save changes all right so simply go back to your front end and reload this and then click on blog and from blog let's visit this uh, block uh, post single page and from here scroll down below and you can see that uh, we are able to see the icon uh, of the standard interface in our uh, single blog post okay and uh, let's uh, see other settings about the floating interface okay so if you want to uh, disable the floating interface uh, sh sh floating sharing interface button then simply uncheck this and scroll down here and say click on save changes okay and simply reload this you can see that all the things gone okay and after that uh, simply I'm just again uh, come here come back here and 
I'll select this and click on save changes because we want the floating interface okay and from here save change uh, from your front end simply reload this page and you can see that it looks really great okay so that's how easy it is to add uh, social media in your WordPress website you can uh, look around all of the settings it's really easy okay so I'm not going to show all of this because the video will be really lengthier I don't want to make any lengthy video because that will be so much boring so that's all for today see you in the next video um, and if you like this video then please hit the like button and if you face any problem then comment down below and you can visit our forum you can also hire us for your web design and web development or android apps development or SEO etc uh, etc et related projects and uh, don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel see you in the next video goodbye